back, Jared with Team Montana, 20 miles from the manufacturer. Nobody beats my prices or my information. Today we got a, a super special unit we're going to run through with you. Uh, good friends of mine from Florida that ordered this coach. And, uh, you guys at the Montana Owners Club, I want to give a special shout out to uh, somebody else who's kind of famous here at Team Montana. Uh, her name is Tater, so she's known for her wonderful walkthroughs. She'll spend three or four hours with you until you have every single question answered. So. Uh, without further ado, hey, hey Tater, folks. this is Tater. She's my girl. Uh, she does a great job for everybody that she wor works with. Just wanted to give her a little shout out. Thanks, I appreciate you, Mr. Jim and Miss Lisa. I just want to say this one's for you. Thank you guys so much for everything, everything you've done for us. All right, that was Tater. Sorry, my phone mount just had to die right there. Of course, right when she was introduced, but she does a very good job for us and really making sure that you have the best experience that you can once you've purchased the unit. I mean, she's always, like myself, always available for a phone call or a text after your purchase just to answer silly little questions. You know, it's, it's a new unit, it's a lot of money, there's a lot of, of new technology and new features to these units. Um, and sometimes it's overwhelming during that walkthrough to, to retain all that information. Um, so that's why I post my name or my number all over the internet because I want to be your source of information when it comes to Montana's whether you buy from me or not at the end of the day I try to be a good person here we are in this 2023 for Jim and Lisa and uh, they're actually standing up there looking at me right now as I'm wrapping up or starting this video so we're gonna go ahead this is a 2023 3121 it is going to change to a 3123 RL. However, this one was kind of a special one that came offline just before they implemented all of those changes in September that you're going to see. Um, so this is a, a really special one to me because it's got the uh, Legacy Package, the Cobalt Full Body Paint, my absolute favorite, um, and then also a 1200i Lithium Super Solar System from the manufacturer. Montana is the only one that offers this system. So super excited to run through this and tell you all about it. Let's go check it out. All right, stepping inside this unit, it is a 2023. It is one of the first ones to roll off production floor. It is a 3121, even though it's being revised as a 23. This whole pantry section is changing. It's gonna be sliding doors. Some other neat features I'll cover on the next one. Also, your island is changing and a little tweak here and there to your colors. Uh, but this one here for uh, my good friends in Florida, Jim and Lisa. Uh, I'm super excited to see them again next month at the Montana Owners Club Rally in Goshen, Indiana. At your dinette, there's a lot of functionality here with your tabletop that can lift up. It does flop out and extend. You've got these little rails that will slide out so that you can uh, set that top on there. So you got a little space in the bottom, put some cards or guns or whatever you want to put in there that fits. Absolutely no brackets or post legs in the way of this dinette system. So it's super comfortable, super easy to move your chairs around. You've got the infamous chair buddy system right there. So it's a gas strut that just holds your chairs down so you don't have to worry about haggling with this silly strap all the time. This last thing you wanna do on vacation is work hard. All right, so this customer opted for the cottage white upgrade. So that's gonna give you this super beautiful white cabinetry color here in the kitchen, all right. And when you opt for the cottage white, that they mandate at Keystone that you get the bourbon dark sofa. All right, so you've got your trifold sofa here. This does fold out into a residential size queen bed. You got some nice nightstands on each side, if that's what you would call them, little side tables. USB ports on both sides of the sofa. Uh, you've got a light switch there for your cabinet lights underneath. These are all soft close, magnetic. All right, so if you're Wham, bam, locked them in. Beautiful um, track lighting, I guess you could call this, throughout the coach. Nice blade fan. 
only manufacturer that is providing a MERV 8 filtration system in their HVAC. So that's huge. This is called the Blade System. It's a new design they've been working on at Keystone for about two years now. And the uh, furnace comes down in the floor. You do have these floor vents, which some people refer to as dirt traps. However, it's the most efficient way to run this air. Uh, and then your water lines actually run right beside that. So, you know, this thing is truly a four seasons, zero degree rated coach itself. So uh, a lot of good testimonies on people that live in these things full time. So they switched to a um, four point chair. So what I mean by that is you've got these buttons on the bottom left here with a little USB port. Um, so you've got some lumbar support that you can push out and then you can also push out the top of the chair as well as um, adjusting your legs here so you can really get some extreme comfort here sit back take a nap watch a movie do what you want to do got your cup holders here and a little snack drawer or somewhere that you can put your TV remotes all right and then you have a dimming switch on your lights right here above you so you can set the mood there um, all of these lights in the coach are actually LED so you could you could make a dimmer switch on here and, and make that work as well uh, 50 inch TV, um, they are going to a smart TV. I'm not sure if this one is or not. I'll have to double check, but I believe that it is not. You've got the radio station down below with a built in subwoofer behind it, and your absolutely beautiful fireplace. A lot of storage and prep space on this unit with the beautiful back window. It's a 48 inch window. All right, there's Mr. Jim himself walking by. All right, convection microwave oven. You got the split, split 70 30 sink with the residential sprayer. Built in trash cans going to be in here down below. All right, nice storage space. Again, all soft clothes. Okay. This is prepped for a third air conditioner. Every single Montana, not a Montana high country, but a Montana, is equipped for a third AC. So you would eliminate this max air rain sensing fan. Your electrical box is already there, so it's a drop-in system. 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator is a built-in water filtration system and also a drinking spigot so you can fill up a nice glass. Down below, you've got your ice maker. So right there is your ice maker. Nice deep pantry. You can put all kinds of food and stuff in here. All right, motion sensor light, so when you open up that door, that light kicks right on. Big coffee bar station, margarita bar, whatever you want to call it. You've got a push button light right here so that doesn't have to always be on. Beautiful Italian style um, backsplash on this wall. So there's another special feature on here that I want to show you, but I'm going to finish up the, the rest of the coach here real quick and we're going to jump back and check out the awesome stuff on this unit. Central vacuum down below the steps, so you've got an electric dust pan so you can brush up to it, kick it up knock it in, or you've got the hose attachment, which is straight above that. All right, again, this is gonna change a little bit right here for 2023, but here you've got a nice hanging arrangement and then um, pegboard, so you put some keys and whatnot in here. Super duper strong handrail, it's not even moving. All right, that's built into the stud work. You've got the cottage white cabinetry in the bathroom. This is a standard on all Montanas. You got the vessel sink with the really tall spigot so really you can you can do a full wash in here if you need to the beautiful glass and black trim work on this fiberglass one piece shower with a built-in seat over here you've got your high-rise porcelain toilet it's a Dometic 310 so it's a little bit more oblong so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable than your traditional RV toilet and then a tremendous amount of storage space in your linen closet with a built-in light so it's the little things that Keystone thinks about that uh, Makes them really special, you know, it's what's given them the reputation that they have. And straight up above me, you've got the Max Air fan that is a rain sensing fan. Up in the bedroom, this is a king bed that this customer, uh, Mr. Jim and Lisa, had opted for. You have got, uh, actually, they didn't opt for it, it's an option to get the queen. Um, but anyway, you've got uh, up here on the sides of your bed frame. You've got nightstands uh, with 110 outlets or 120 outlets and USB ports. You've got a little nighttime reading light and it's got a little LED illuminated ring above that light. So you, again, set the mood. Nice big window above the bed. And the exact same thing over here uh, on the other side of the bed. 
padded headboard so it's very comfortable if you wanted to lean back watch some TV on your 32 inch TV that you right here you can easily do so and all right so they already moved in as you can see they got their pillows they put a nice topper on here there is some storage down below this is on a strut system so it's really really easy to lift up just like your steps are getting into your coach they're very lightweight due to those struts plenty of storage space down along the bottom you've got a built-in laundry hamper it's already got some laundry in it there you go motion sensing lights everywhere sliding doors with locks all right over here you've got your folding chairs that go down below in case you decide to have some guests over and then back behind that you can kind of see that white box it's right about right here so that's your washer dryer prep if you opt for that um, this centerpiece comes out and then you'll have a full uh, stackable washer and dryer over here you've got a nice little wardrobe so you could put some more clothes down all along those are soft clothes as well then you've got your 32 inch television that I was telling you about air vents all throughout so these are both ducted both ACs are ducted the exact same thing here these are the Coleman Mach Q series stands for quiet all right, so with the legacy package, you have this little sensor on your wall. Um, so that's actually your thermostat that's going to run to your in command system and control everything. So right. this is actually a 1200i super solar package with the legacy cobalt full body paint. So what you've got here is a bunch of technology. Um, it's, it's really an awesome starter package into the solar world. It's going to really let you go off grid or. Um, run multiple items at one time like I can run both air conditioners on a 30 amp service or run both air conditioners in the microwave on the same connection um, so that's where this inverter comes into play you've got a built-in 3000 watt inverter that's going to um, supply that power from your battery bank you've got 200 or 570 amp hours of uh, dragonfly batteries in this coach straight from the factory and then you've got your uh, I'm sorry then you've got your precision circuits power management system so what this is going to do right now it's telling me we're connected to 30 amp service here and I'll show you these buttons so it tells you what's going on so your water heater vacuum AC fireplace heat pump yada 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 we've got 118 volts coming in But essentially what this has done from Keystone, they've designed it so that it's a plug and play system. You plug into your shore power. If you're going to overpower the unit, this is going to kick in and say, hey, we need more power. And the power is going to come for that inverter. Uh, if you're off grid, same thing. If you're going to start running stuff throughout the trailer, this is going to protect you from destroying your rig. And this is just going to send that power. All right. Ceiling fan controls are here to your right, so you always have to turn the power on and then set the speed for the fan to start going. So you've got high, medium, and low. You can make it push or pull the air. Up above is your surge protector light, so it's going to tell you that your surge protector is tripped if it's illuminated. If so, it will reset after 90 seconds if the power has been restored. If not, you've got an issue. And then your battery heat switch for those lithium batteries that are up front. Um, just in case you're in some severe winter and, and uh, just keep those batteries alive. So with the Legacy package, you're going to get this in-command system. It is, uh, I believe, a uh, fifth generation. Um, it's really uh, responsive now, just like your smartphone is. Uh, don't tell anybody that password. Um, on the bottom row, you've got all of your main components that are accessible right when you turn this on. So you can flip your water pump on. Water heater is gas and electric, so you can run it on either or. You've got your interior lights, exterior lights, which are kind of your mood lights, and then your security lights are like a floodlight, so it's going to illuminate everything around you. I have a video um, specifically running you through all of the steps of this system um, that I'll link above if you want to check that out and see exactly how that system works. Tank heaters for that uh, winter camping that you decide to do. And then your infamous unmarked lights. Give me a call. I'll tell you what those are. All right. So Jim and Lisa have opted for my absolute favorite color, the cobalt full body paint. So it's mostly grays and black with a nice accented blue stripe through there. It's a dark blue stripe. Again, this is a super solar 1200i unit. So that's telling us we have 1200 watts coming from the ceiling, uh, not the ceiling, the roof. You've got two 240 or 230 watts um, batteries. 
that are going to be tied into uh, your 3000 watt inverter and that's going to send power to your entire trailer. Something new that they have done for 2023 are these isolators for your solar panels. Um, so each, there's two different controllers in here for two of your panels coming in. Over here on your side, you've got two battery disconnects. You've got your main inverter, so that's going to shut power off to the trailer. However, your solar is still going to work um, because you have not flipped off this battery disconnect switch. When you flip this, it shuts all power off to the unit. Um, so really the only time you want to do that is if you're storing it indoors somewhere and there is no source of power, whether that be from the sun or whether it's plugged in. Otherwise, you want to leave that tiny, really important switch on and just go ahead and shut the uh, inverter disconnect off and then you're not going to have to worry about random power draws throughout the trailer. This is the legacy package, so you have the disc brakes. That is your um, pump for those hydraulic disc brakes. Hydraulic system here for your leveling and slide controls. Also, 2023, they changed these latches. All right, so they are a slammable latch with a lock. So you can lock this super stout, sturdy, instead of having more, more traditional latch like you would have here that really is just a pain. So that's nice to see. Six point automatic hydraulic leveling system, um, pain free. You hook this, push this button, unhook it from the truck, hit auto level, and let it do its thing. With the legacy package, you get the side marker cameras and the back camera. Uh, those are observation cameras, so you can run those all of the time and see exactly what's going on around you. Up front, this unit is, we originally, this had 30 pound tanks in it. We went ahead and upgraded these to 40 pound tanks. As you can see, they fit nice and snug in there. Humongous pass through storage. So he's got two massive totes in here right now and some other stuff. And as you can see, there's a lot of, of space yet to be used. Spare tire crank, you know, the necessities if you have to. But really, these have G range tires from Saloon and they've been an awesome tire. So you shouldn't have any problems there. Low point drains if you're going to winterize your coach, super easy to do. I have another video that I'll link on the top here. Um, breaking that down for you as well so you can remember that here in the next couple months when it's getting cold you got your black tank gray tank you'll have another hidden gray tank valve just on the other side of that cylinder um, uh, hydraulic leveler i should say all right you got your water connection so you can do normal flow from the city water or fresh water fill all your winterizing goodies exterior shower hot water and cold water i'm gonna flip this light on this little blue device here is prep for satellite if you want to go ahead and permanently fix one on top of the roof. The wires just run for you so you don't have to chase wires through the walls and up in the ceiling on this coach. Um, a little Zamp solar plug here on the side if you want a mobile or a portable solar panel. It doesn't really power much, um, but it's nice that you still have that option. And then your key TV multi-source signal controller. So it's a, an automated system, plug and play. Just make sure that the back side of your TV matches whichever one of these that you're um, plugged into out here. On the side, we got 35,000 BTU furnace, 12 gallon water heater. Uh, those are both upgraded for 2023, which I'll go over uh, when we get the latest and greatest in. You've got your power cord reel, so it's a winch style. Free spin, just go ahead and pull it. One outlet for your septic, which is very nice to have. You also have a little light here. So again, it's the details with Keystone. Um, so just open up there, pull your valves, off you go. Look at this paint job. Beautiful frameless windows. You've got the slide toppers on the top of all three slide outs. And here you've got your G-Range Saloon tires, your 16-inch rim. This does have the disc brakes that you can see behind this rim here. Those are from Kodiak Axle. You've got the Road Armor 360 um, suspension system, so it's gonna really take away that vibration in your trailer and uh, protect your purchase. Those are wet bolts, thicker shackles. Really, this, test, this system has been tested and tested and tested, and it's a good system. To the back of the coach, you've got this beautiful fiberglass cap. All right. And up at the top, You've got your solar panels. You've got um, four 300 watt panels up there. And so we'll go on up there and check it out. So up on top of this unit, we've got two Coleman Mach Q air conditioners with soft start capacitors and then four 300 watt solar panels equivalent to 1200 wattage of power. 
Look at that beautiful rig. Thank you so much, Jim and Lisa, for everything that you've done for us. And uh, happy retirement to you. I'm super excited for you guys to travel the countryside and to see you at the Montana Owners Club. We'll see you then. And until then, safe travels. Happy camping.